A Japanese diplomat referred to wartime sex slavery victims as paid prostitutes. Kwan Jang Ho zooms in on how Tokyo continues to drift further from acknowledging the truth, reaching a point beyond denial and well past historic distortion to justify its wartime crime instead of repenting. The Japanese Consul General in Atlanta has denied that the Japanese military forcibly recruited sex slaves during World War II. In an interview with a local newspaper, Takashi Sirazuka claimed the victims of Japan's wartime sexual slavery were paid prostitutes and that there was no evidence that they'd been taken by force. His remarks follow a decision by the city council of Brookhaven, a community just northeast of Atlanta, to unveil a memorial statue for the victims. Shinazuka urged the city to reverse its decision, claiming the statue is a symbol of hatred and resentment against Japan. City officials deny this and say they have no plans to reconsider their decision with the statue set to be unveiled on Friday. The Korean community and a local civic group blasted the diplomat over his remarks, which they say raise suspicions that Tokyo is trying to whitewash history. They also said Shinozuka's comments run counter to previous statements made by the Japanese government, where Tokyo acknowledged the crimes and the victims' suffering. The Korean government also voiced its concerns on Tuesday and will strongly condemn the statement if it's confirmed that Shinozuka made such comments. If the report is true, it's unbelievable that a, such a high-ranking diplomat will make that statement. It will be a really inappropriate remark that goes against the international community's consensus that the comfort woman issue is about wartime sexual violence and that it was a gross violation of human rights. The memorial statue would be the third of its kind to be installed in the U.S., following two others in California and Michigan. Along with the mayor of Brookhaven and the two sculptors who worked on the statue, an 88-year-old survivor of the atrocities will also attend the unveiling ceremony. Kwon Jang-woo, Arirang News.